Hello, Mr. Aaron. Hello, Mr. Ryan. Hello, Mr. Mr. Hello, Mr. 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 Yes, good job. <laughs> Remember, we talk about the final research, right? Yeah. Final da, research. Da, 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 da. What? What is? What? What's that? <laughs> uh, binary is two. Yeah. So every time you cut the search space into half. For example, I give you a number. I, I, I'm. I'm thinking of a number, yeah, yeah, in my head. I tell you it's between 0 to 100. Okay, tell me what it is. Just make a guess. 50. It's uh, bigger than I, what I saw. Okay, so you guess. Keep guessing. Keep guessing. Ryan said 50. I said it's smaller. It's bigger than the number I in my mind. So what's okay. that? Okay, 22. 22, you guess 22, yeah? It's smaller than what I think. Three. Small. This number is smaller, so you, you need to. It's in this range. Uh, thirty-six. Thirty-six. It's smaller. Uh, twenty-seven. It's smaller, so you need to. It's, oh. it's in this range. Forty-nine. Forty-nine. <laughs> it's bigger. Forty-six. Forty-six is bigger. Forty-eight. Forty-six is bigger. So 40, it's small. Smaller. Forty-five. It's still bigger. Uh, thirty-nine. Yes, well done. Uh, yeah, that's the number I guess. So basically, you cut into half. So when I say fifty, it's bigger. Then you you know it's in this way, right? Yeah. Then it's it's and every time you cut into half, so the next number is twenty-five. Yeah? yeah? And I says it's smaller, so you know, you know it's between 24, 25 and 50, right? Yeah. And then you search in the middle, which is, I, I don't know, it's, it's 38 maybe? Yeah? Yeah, 38 roughly, yeah, in the middle. I say it's smaller. Then you, you know it's between 38 and 50, and then you do this. Every time you, you pick the middle and you ask me, yeah? Mm. If I say bigger, then you know it's in a smaller half. If I say smaller, you know it's in a bigger half, right? So the complexity is usually what? Um, Log n, yeah, right? Because yeah. if they are n, I, every time I cut into half, yeah. Okay? So this is log, yeah, remember? Yeah. Log a, b equals x. So what does it mean? Mm. It means a, x to the power f equals b, right? Normally, yeah? Yes? Yeah. Okay. So this log, log function, it's like that. This is x, this is y. Yeah? yeah. So look, uh, y equals log, if I say log, log 2, base 2, okay? Log base 2 x. So what does it mean? What does it mean? Can, do you know how, how the function goes? How the function goes? Mm. If, if x is, x is, if y is 0, so, is... 2 to what power equals 0? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, no. It's the other way. So, if x is 1, uh, how can I do it? Actually, actually, this is not x, right? Log 2x equals y. So, y is 0. When y is 0? I keep breathing. <laughs> no, actually, actually, this is this is the opposite. Okay, this is opposite. So x equals log y. Okay. So when y is zero, when when y is zero. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Y can't be zero, right? Two to the power of anything can't be zero, right? Yeah. So yes, I was right at the beginning. Okay. So. 2 to the power of uh, 0 is what? 2 to the power of 0 equals... What's this? It's 1, yeah? Yeah? yeah. So x, this is x, this is y. 2 to the power of 0 is 1. So if I put a 0 here, this is 1, yeah? y is 1, and x is 0, okay? Yeah? yeah? So 2 to the power of uh, 1 equals 2, right? Right? Yeah. 2 to the power of 1 equals 2. So when y is 1, 
the x should be 2, right? Yeah? When y is 1, so x should be 2, 2, x should be 2 here. So basically, it's a function like that. Yeah? This is log x. Okay? This is the function of that. So you can, this is a curve. So what this means is that the y can be from negative infinity to, uh, to positive infinity. Yeah? But the x cannot be negative. It's always strictly bigger than zero. So you can't find any value. 2 to the power of something equals minus something. Yeah? You, there's no such number that like 2 to the power of something equals minus something. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that, that, that was it means x is relative. So how can... Look, this function is, we, we call it monotone, monotone function. Monotone increasing function. What's monotone? What's this word mean? Monotone. I know tone. Monotone. This is molar. What does it mean? It's Singer, yeah? Single sound. Singular. So it means that when x increase, y is always increase. So when x is more decrease, the y is decrease. Do you get it? Yeah. So look, what, what does it mean? Look, if... Like somebody, uh, how old they are. So if I, if you don't know this value, if I, I give you this log to a hundred and log to five hundred, which one is bigger? This function, these two value. Uh, the bottom one. Yeah, this is maternal increasing because you you don't need to calculate the value, right? Because I tell you, five hundred is here, yeah, yeah, somewhere here. A hundred is somewhere here, yeah. So you compare, right? You know it's bigger, right? It's somewhere here. This is five hundred. So 500 is somewhere here, and then 100 is somewhere here. So you look, which one is higher? This, this one is 500, yeah? Yeah? Am I right? Yeah. Log 500, this is log 100. This is called the maternal increasing, yeah? Is x squared maternal increasing? y equals x squared? x to the power 2? No, because its function is like that. Look, when x is 0, it's 0. When x is 1, it's 1. When x is 2, it's 4. But when x is minus 2, it's also 4. Okay? Minus 2 square equals what? Minus 1 square times 2 square. Okay? Minus 1 square is 1. Got it? Because negative, double negative makes positive. Okay? So this is not monotone. Monotone. Increasing, look, because, look, this is monitor decreasing here, but this is monitor increasing, yeah? It's middle, yeah? yeah? Got it? So if it's monitor increasing, then we can use the binary search. Don't, don't touch it. It's to, to solve this problem, okay? Okay? So, so we, we don't know the value, but we guess, right? Remember? We guess this value, yeah? We let's get given this uh, uh, y equals log 2x, yeah? We, we want, to, we are given this x, but we don't know the y, right? So we can guess the, uh, guess. Let, let's check this, this part first, if x is bigger than 1, okay? Yeah, this part. So, what's the left about? Left bound is the lowest bound, which is y equals zero, right? Yeah, yeah? Yes? Yes? Yeah. When upper bound, what's the upper bound? What's the upper bound? Upper bound, you can pick a very large value, or you pick an x. Why, why we can pick an x? Because when x is y bigger than 1, 2x to the power of x is always bigger than x, right? Yeah. 2 to the power of 3 equals a, which is bigger than 3, right? Yes? Mm -hmm. Alright? So you can pick a value of the... Uh, so you can pick a value of x, right? Can, can you? Yes. So look, we can pick a value and then we, every time we find it in the middle and then we compare, compare, the, uh, compare, the, compare if it's actually power, if it's actually 2 to the power of this middle value if it's actually, if it's bigger than, if it's bigger, 2 to the power of mid, if it's, it's bigger than the y, uh, 
No, if it's bigger than the x, x is the given input. It means, it means that it's in the lower half, right? Otherwise, it's in, it's in the bigger half. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let, let's do this coding, okay? Maybe coding will make it more clear. I know that thingy. No, no, yeah, no, yeah. What do you mean? Define log 2 x, okay? Log 2 x column. If, let, let's first check. If x is smaller than or equal to 0, there is no such thing, right? Anyway, yeah. what, what should we return? We return 9. Uh, we are done. We return 9. We can't find this, this value, okay? Okay, another thing I forgot is there is a formula. Look. Remember, we talk about this. We, we talk about this one, yeah? yeah. When, when it's here, you, you can't find the lower bound because it's negative infinity. So we can turn it into the positive. So, so, so there's a formula. It's log A, B, uh, wait, log 2. Oh. So a divided by b equals log 2 plus a minus log 2b, okay? There's a formula of this. And then log 2 a times b equals log 2 a plus log 2p, okay? Okay, this is the formula, yeah? And now if we, it's, x is smaller than minus 1, so we can do it this way. Log a, log 2 x, yeah? Log 2 x equals log 2 and, and uh, also there is a formula, log 2 a to the power of b equals b times log 2 a, okay? We, we're going to use this one, log 2 a to the power of b equals, and we can move this b to the front, okay? So now, you, you, you don't need to remember, you just need to know, we can turn, we can turn, when we can turn when x is smaller than 1, we can turn this case into the positive case. So look, this is equals to 1 divided by 1 divided by x, right? Yeah? x, x equals 1 divided by 1 divided by x, alright? 1 divided by 1 divided by 1. Yeah? So this thing is x divided by x, 1 divided by x minus 1. Mm -hmm. Look. 2 to the power of minus 1, what does it mean? It equals 2 to the power of 1 divided 1 over 2 to the power of 1, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let me, let me tell you. 2 to the power of 2, what's, what's this value? 2 to the power of minus 2. Yeah, minus 2. Uh... <laughs> equals 2 to the power of 2. Yeah? You got it? Yeah. Yeah? So it's a quarter, yeah? Another one, 2 to the power of 3, minus 3. 2 to the power of 3. <laughs> what? Minus 3 equals what? 2 to the power of 3. 1 over. Because it's minus, you need to make it 1 over. Uh -huh. Alright? Yeah? So this, this one. 1 over this is this minus 1, yeah? And minus 1, look, Ryan, Eric, this thing, you can move it to the before. So oh. it equals Sorry. minus log 2, 1 divided by x. You see? When x is negative, uh, when x is smaller than 1, okay, when x is smaller than 1, bigger than 0, we can turn it into one, okay. minus log of, uh, 1 divided by x. So when x is smaller than 1, 1 divided over by x, this value is what? It's larger than 1, right? If x is smaller than 1, like 0 0.5, 1 divided by 0 0.5 equals what? 2, right? Okay? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so now, okay, I, I just write too much thing here. But li here, so if x is smaller than 1, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Return the formula we just said, minus log 2. 1 divided by x, right? Yeah? yeah. Mm. Now we just need to focus Oy. the case when x is bigger than 1, right? Yeah. So let's say lower bound, upper bound, lower high equals lower bound is what? Lower bound is 0, right? Yeah. Because when, look, at, look at this. Look at, 
when x when x is here y is bigger than zero right yeah yeah when x is in this range the y is be bigger than zero so lower bound is zero higher bound is what we can give a very big number or we can just put the x right uh yes because two to the power x two to the power x is always uh is bigger than x right yeah so so we can use this now look why and we can guess the Why? initial value, current value is zero, okay? Let's just guess the value. We don't know yet, yeah? But we need to say why the ABS, do you still remember ABS? Yeah! ABS, absolute blue value, yeah? yeah? When the absolute blue value, CUR minus what? CUR minus what? PUR minus the power of two. This is the current value we are uh, uh, current the answer we are looking for, right? So we need if to we need to answer no no, no actually x x power plus one cur is the value we are looking for log two x right? So if two to the power of current minus x if it's a big if it's bigger than an error we, 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 we error a bigger error okay this error we can define it as uh, one, uh, 0 0.00001 or we can do this 1e e. 1e e minus 5 1 2 3 4 5 1e e minus 5 okay 1e what's e what's e e is the it's Good question. It's a scientific notification. Yeah. Mm. You just remember we can one e minus five equals zero. One e minus one is e. zero point one. One e minus two is zero point zero one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one three. e three is zero is thousand. Okay. So it basically means that uh, where is the dot? So okay? are we finished? No, yeah, no, you're yeah. quite, quite close, quite close. Okay, so this is yours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So where we wait? Uh, so the value is that then we we need to turn. Uh, oh, actually, what's next? Actually, what's next? actually, no. If current, we we we, we, we if current minus x is bigger than one, then uh, we we need to calculate meta. Meta equals low plus high divided by two. Okay. And then current equals power two to the power of current uh, mid. Okay. Then if current if current is bigger than x, if current is bigger than x, we mean then. it means that it's in the lower lower half, right? It's in the lower half. Lower half. So high equals mid. As as low low equals mid right and then i when is this finished we return the meter yeah we, we return the mid uh done i think so but here we need to because it return the mid we need to put it low plus high divided by two in case okay so let's do the coding. Let's do the coding to see. Maybe coding is more clear. This this lesson is a bit difficult, okay? But don't worry. Let's do it together. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Wait. Is it? Wait. Please. So let's let's do. Uh, it's clear. Yeah, it's very clear. Okay. Don't shake. Okay. It's very clear. Look at the screen, look at the screen. Okay, can you see it clear? Yeah. yeah. Log to dot py, okay? Let's do this. Uh, define log to x. So look, if x is smaller than zero or equal than zero, we, we, we know no, no. we know there's no such no. thing, yeah? Oh. If x then is equal smaller than one, oh. we return uh Nine. minus log two. Look, this is recursively calling, yeah? When it's uh, uh, smaller than that, we we recursively calling. Uh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Is it clear? Is it clear? Can you see it clear? Yeah. 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 A bit clear. 
Is that better? Yeah. 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 I think this is fine. Okay. So look, look to one, one point zero divided by x, right? Okay. So now low, pi equals zero, and x current equals low, low plus high divided by two. Why? Why the? Hmm. Because the current value is the uh, wait wait power two to the power of this. We we guessing we guessing this this value. Y current A B S current minus X is big still bigger than one E minus five. Okay, this is what I mean. Look, Eric. 1 e minus 5 is 0 0.00001 okay? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then we need the middle equals low plus high divided by 2 high. current, high. we update the current to plus high. mid high. if low high. High. If, if now we need to check if this current value is bigger than the x right? It's bigger than the x. It means that the uh, the the value is in the lower half. So the lower uh, the lower half. Is, so we change this to the middle. Else we change this to the middle to the lower bar. We can put this equal and then return return current. Re no return uh, middle. We are we are we are calculating the middle. Yeah. Middle value. Let's try. Print log two, one point zero, which is return zero, right? And then two point zero, return log two, a hundred, a thousand, yeah? Yeah, that should return ten, right? And then thirty two. Let's try if it works, okay? I'm not sure. We're not sure. Ah, okay. Mid must be reference. Okay, there's a value. Uh, yeah, because we look, we're using the mid, but we haven't, we haven't declared yet, right? We haven't declared yet. Declare I mean, means that look, you need to declare it before you can use it. What does declare mean? Declare it means you need to use it. Why? Because if, if you're not declaring, the computer don't know, okay? Why? For example, if you want to use the Eric value, and then the computer don't know what's the Eric. Why? So you need to define it. Define it before you use it. Good job. Why? I just told so, you. So the computer knows what is it. Yeah, you see? The first value is very small, so you can pretend because it's close to zero, so the computer, the floating uh, numbers can be displayed something very strange, but it's very close to zero. So the second value, 1.0, 10.0, 5.0, okay, let's see if it, yeah? 2 to the power, log 2, 2 is 1.0, log 2, uh, so log 2, this is, this is you uh, put in the, uh, this should put in one, yeah. This should put in, this should put in the ten, and this should put in five, right? Five. This is very. Uh, sorry. This is very. Very close to zero. Okay, so. Uh, let's try some numbers. Uh, try the next. Uh, the number between between 0 and 1. So what is log 2, 0 0.1 return? Log 2, 0. It should return something negative, right? Yeah. Yes, exactly. It's, it returns something negative. You see? So we use the binary search. Uh, let's just do it. What about 0.2? What would that do? So it should be... Okay, good question. So what, what's the number? Is it, it should be bigger than... Uh, the, Log to zero point one or no? What's the value? Is it bigger than log log to zero point one? Yeah. 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 
minus 2.3 is bigger than minus 3.3. Am I right? Yes? Yeah. So let's, let's, let's review this code a little bit more, okay? So if x is smaller than 0, uh, we can't find such value, okay? Let, 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 let. Oh, 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 I forgot. <laughs> I want to, I want to... You just draw down the world! Yeah, I know, I, I just want to... Daddy just draw the world! <laughs> wait, wait, don't worry. <laughs> no, I, I, what I want is that I, I want to put this uh, graph so you can have a look at that. Mm. This is x, this is y, and then log, log 2x is this, yeah? Log 2y equals log 2x. This is 1, this is 1, and it's from the value of y is from negative to positive. Yeah? You see? Yeah? Negative to positive. Okay, so look, if x is smaller than 0, you can't find such value in the graph, in the okay. mathematic graph, yeah? If x is smaller than 1 and bigger than 0, we turn it into the bigger case, which is bigger than 1. Otherwise, we find the middle, we define the range, upper bound and lower bound. The upper bound and lower bound. Mm -hmm. Eric, Eric, please. And then we calculate the value, 2 to the mid, power of mid. Yeah? <laughs> when the current, is, and then x, if the current is the same as x, we, we know the value is mid, right? Yeah? yeah. Mid, mid, and then current, and then if it's bigger than x, we find it. Because when it's x... Magic. Look, it, this is the final result. Well, if we find this value, if, if we find this value is bigger, we, we have a lower bound. We have a lower bound here, for example, and upper bound here. And we find oh, this value. Down. Yeah? If, if this value x, if we're given this value x here, is here. Mm. If we're given x here. Mm. But this value is bigger than this value, so we know it's in the lower half, right? Mm. So we, we continue search in this half. Otherwise, we search in this half. Okay, so this is what I mean. If it's bigger than the value, then we search in the lower half, otherwise search in the middle half. When this value, when this the difference is smaller than, smaller than this, then we find a value which is very close to the what, what value we want. Okay, got it? Yeah. Yes? Okay, so... lots of holes! Okay, okay, so good job today. Okay, lots this is a bit holes, tricky, okay? Babe. Any questions? No! Bye! A bye! A bye! Oh. A bye! Don't shake! Don't shake please! Don't shake! Okay! <laughs>